Hello, this is another video on Scratch. And again, what this particular video, we're going to focus on autonomous movement, which means that we want to program the, scratch, the uh, sprite to move on its own. Okay. So the first thing that you should have every sprite do in your program is when the green flag is checked, you want to always go to its starting point, show or hide, depending on when it comes in, um, switch to a starting costume and set its size to whatever you want its size to be. Now for this particular program, I'm going to set my sprite size to 25% of its original size, uh, just for the simple fact that I want some, I want there to be uh, a lot of things on this program. All right, so for this video, I'm going to, rather than have my sprite start at zero, zero, I'm going to have my sprite start at, um, let's say, negative 240 on the x-axis and 0 on the y-axis, OK? So uh, when I click on the green flag, it's going to go to its starting point. Now, one of the best things or one of the easiest ways to make your sprite move autonomously, and again, you'll find people that do all do this in all sorts of creative ways, but for me, I like to use the glide option. Okay, and the reason why I like to use the glide option is because I can set it to go to a specific place, but also tell it uh, tell my sprite to take however long I want it to get to that place. Okay, so say if I want my sprite to walk to um, 150 on the x-axis and zero on the y-axis. So I'm gonna change this to 150. And then on my y-axis, I'm still gonna be on the zero axis. But say, you know, uh, during that time, I want it to take, um, let's say, five seconds to walk or to, to move to that axis. So now I can click on my green flag and it's going to take five seconds for it to get to 150 and zero. So that is one way that you can get your sprite to autonomously move in a, a specific direction that you want it to move to. Okay, so click on the green flag. It's going to go to a starting point, and then it's going to glide to where you want it to glide. All right, so that is how you... Uh, make your sprite move autonomously.